welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing um so today's video is going to be in like a bit of a vlog type of thing because um one of the things i did mention on my channel is going to be talking about like nail care so <laughs> um yeah i'm going to show you actually my nail polish collection as well as the different tools i use to get the different designs that i want so let's get into that welcome to all my nail polish guys like i want to say yes like 80 plus bottles i'll put the total on screen so you can pretty much say i have a problem so i'm gonna break it up there's like four different sections this over here and then the all that over there those are all my glitters from that pink cap until here and until that white cap that is basically like random nail polishes that i have that's not necessarily part of okay there are like a few brand names over here but they are just like ones i found by small stalls or whatever over here these are all my essence these are my silvers and then these are my top and base coats top and base coats from essence this was 45 rand and then these three like I absolutely love these three. No, not that. Not you. <laughs> this one over here. I love this three a lot. They are from Essence, as you can see. The thing about Essence is that they discontinue, like, um, certain nail polishes. It's not, like, the latest trend. So, they discontinued this one. This one I got in 2016. So, you see, I'm using it very sparingly. This one is quite beautiful because it actually does come cracked after nail polish. After you, yeah, after you apply the nail polish, sorry. And then this glow in the dark one. This one is not opaque in one coat, so you have to do like a couple of coats in order for it to actually be glow in the dark. So yeah, these are from Essence. This one is LA Girl. And this is my Catrice Matte. Top coat. 3D matte effect. And then yeah, the net over there is basically just... Um... So then these three are duplicates of nail polish that I like, like this from Miniso, that's from Sorbet, and then that is from Essence. That's just the, the hollow one. Guys, I'm holosexual, so just look at the hollow. So yeah, that's my collection. So this right here is my Sorbet um, Missile Pen Nail Polishes. This was a Christmas gift from my parents in 2017. It was that pack for 16 or 15 for like 250, which is actually like quite worth it if I do see so myself. And that one was also a gift from them. So this whole collection was a gift from my parents. Um, these ones run for 90 rand. These are the how much milliliters are you? 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters for 90 rand, and the five milliliters are 30 rand so yeah you get them by clicks clicks where i have like a bar normally when you come in clicks there's like a bar for it to come in like a bar standing then they are all over there so that is so bad right here are my essence nail polish which i love so much as you can see that one actually wore to my, to my matric ball in 2015 so i really need to buy that one again and my clear nail polish i put that on top of every single manicure that i do on myself because it just makes it look amazing so these ones they are eight milliliters and they run for 30 rand i don't know if they still have this range like the space range and these ones they were um 45 rand when i bought it as well as the brush metal so and there's a funny story behind this one i wasn't gonna i never thought i would buy this brushed silver metal whatever but there was a scratch on the car my dad didn't feel like taking to the um to the mechanic to like repair the scratches and this actually matches the color of the car so yep this is how i had to buy this nail polish you didn't even pay me back daddy i'm waiting for you to pay me back <laughs> just joking but yeah i got this one because my dad had scratches on the car and that is all my essence these right here are like my random batches of nail polish that i own that doesn't necessarily belong to like a certain brand so yeah that's when i got from janelle just support by game that was like 
10 rand, 12 rand. This one Danelle's mother gave me. 12 rand. This I got for Chinatown. These these two, yeah, they were 10 rand each. These two was like 15 rand. Basically, these ones, that's not like a name brand. Basically, it's um by side stores, I get. So yeah. And then these three, the these three over here, these are my mats. Sorry if my nails are so bad. Um, then I have Wet and Wild. These were 35 rand by clicks. The Rockstar one was on sale. These are Alec Girls, sorry. But the Rockstar shade, shade um, that was on sale in December. Yeah, that was 20 rand. Then my three Catrice. Then my Revlon. So, yeah. These are the non branded batch, if I could call them that. So, these are all my glitters that I use for like my accent nails or just even like sparkly nails like I said this one is a sinful colors dupe this one over here sorry I don't know where I got this one though but yeah this one I got by Miniso that cute Chinese slash Japanese place in Kanawa this one I got in Joburg this one my friend or shooter gave me this three was in by Chinatown I got these two by Women's Street this one also in Chinatown that one by Game Sinful Colors, I keep on forgetting how much they ask. Sally Hansen, this was 70 Rand. This was 15 Rand on sale by Woolworths JT1. And then these are Essence. This was like 50 Rand each. And then these are just still 30 Rand. Yeah, at also 30 Rand, not still, sorry. <laughs> these are also 30 Rand by Clicks or Diskin. So these are my glitters so those were all my nail polishes and stuff so now i'm going to show you the nail equipment and my loose glitters my loose gems so yeah a lot of these things as you heard were like 50 rand 10 rand these things i buy on a budget being a student being a daughter of a father who's retired you can't you can't afford to splurge so yeah i just i look for sales like i have to look for sales i love of sales so a lot of these things are also like crafty stuff, makeup brushes, like you will just see. So let's get into this. This is my stem. This is the scrapey thingy to scrape on the stem so the nail polish can go in. This is the actual stem, but it actually did say stamp it on here, but the nail polish remover removed it all. So yeah, there's that. Quick express spray. This stuff smells nice, but I actually don't know if it does the job. I'm so sorry, but I really don't know if it does the job. That I also got by Clicks and Diskin. Plastic bag, if I want to do like a Marvel look. I'll show, I'll throw up a picture I did of my nails with one of these guys. So, yeah, as you see, like you fold it up to put in the nail polish and then you like dab it on your nails. For, if you want to do ombres, it's good to have like a latex-free makeup sponge. So, yeah. Oh, also to glab, to, yeah, to dab on glitters, I'm sorry. <laughs> to dab on glitters is good to have like your sponges. Then these are glitters. This container, funny story. <laughs> okay, not exactly a funny story, just a cheap as heck. This is my razor blade holder. I just threw in my glitters because it's a bigger container. There. I'm a cheapskate, I know. <laughs> so yeah, silver glitter, red glitter. Who remembers the, the Sabrina? You know those books that you used to collect by CNA? Like, used to come out Sabrina, and like, I know there was like a bunch of makeup they gave. So, this is actually of that. I still have it, Sabrina. The, Sabrina the Secret Witch. There you go. So, this is that. I somehow still have it. A random top, which makes me worried. <laughs> Another sponge. Then, yeah. The Brat Stalls, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day when they sell Brat Stalls that you could like DIY their clothing. I still have these, I have no clue why, but like yeah, I have these beads so I use it on my nails. This is actually makeup glitter, also from a collectible, I think this was like a ballerina line when back in my old day of my old interests. So yeah, this is actually makeup glitter. But yeah, these are my glitters and my sponges and just to show how after budget oh and this was the holder of my yeah i think 16 shades 
Are my sore nail polishes? <laughs> Guys, the students are ugly real, I tell you. So yeah, welcome to my equipment. This container was actually a Christmas trifle that I stole. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is gloves. It's always good to have a pair of gloves whenever you're doing your nails. Because, say for example, your one hand is finished and it's dry and it's complete and looks perfect. And you're going on to your next one but then you mess up and you have to use nail polish remover. This is what this baby is for. Brushes to um, to apply your glitter on your nails. This is a fan brush. I bought for Chinatown for 25 Rand. And this brush is actually a makeup brush. That was once again a collectible of that ballerina thing I used to collect back in the day. I'll just, if I find one of those books, if I still somehow have it, or if I can find it online, I'll throw a picture up. But yeah, it was a collectible. And then essence sponge and a nail art brush. This is a striper brush. And these are also very good for like ombres if you want like different styles. So yeah, this was 40 Rand, if I remember correctly. And it's either by Duskim or Clicks. Moving on to stencils. This is 20 Rand by Clicks and Duskim. This is just like if you want to do like French tips. Then this is the stamping plate that I was talking about. Oh, they are. And there's my pop socket. Hi Pikachu. <laughs> but yeah, I was actually clean this thing off. Oh my gosh, I forgot to. But yeah, this is like a tribal stamping plate. Slide you in. These are nail stickers from my friend Natalie. Thanks Nat, I still have them. These are actually super cute. But these are good if you want to do like quilt patterns or just have like um like stripes on your nails as you can see in the illustration over here. It's silver, gold and rose gold. These are more cutouts, also by Clicks or Duskim. Then this is a, it's basically a nail polish, a nail polish remover pen. And it smells so, so, so nice. As you see, I only have one tip left. There's one in here right now. This baby helps me a lot. And then this was also from that Sabrina collection thing. This was from my Brad Stalls sleepover thing. I don't know what I did there. I think I used that sponge just to cut or something. And this is like toe and yeah, toe separator. Nail brush, scissors, more makeup brushes, and a tea bag. <laughs> a tea bag is actually very, very useful when you chip your nail. So you cut off, as you see, like I cut off a lot of corners because my nails chip a lot. And then you just apply it with clear nail polish and then you go over with your normal nail polish and it looks brand new. I actually throw the herbs and stuff out. And then Q-tips, Q-tips up a lot, a, a tweezer, I almost forgot what you call that thing, scissors, and then a dotting tool. This dotting tool was 45 Rand by clicks, yeah, but they also sell, they should also sell it by this game, basically. So yeah, these are my equipment. Oh yes, this is my nail pen that I got by clicks. This is 150, so it's battery operated operated why can't i speak english <laughs> it's battery operated and this lamp on the off is basically like a uv lamp so if i it's basically wind and then that's the uv lamp so yeah this is my nail fan that is basically it for my nail collection right now next time i talk about nails will probably be like nail tips nail care what to do to like maintain my nails so yeah that's that will be the next video thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe if you want to if you want to see more of the space and my awkwardness but yeah hit that bell icon next to the subscription box and leave a like i will appreciate it a lot bye guys hey guys this is um post recording editing melissa right now as you know, polish is different to the video. Just want to make things clear. I did not steal a trifle. <laughs> I, um, I, I never committed a crime in my life. I didn't steal a trifle. I stole the holder. Not the trifle. Just want to make that clear. Yeah.